for Tile Talk. Designer Aaron Williams joins us with a brand new project he's working on that's giving him a bunch of fresh ideas on how to use tile. And lucky for us, he is sharing those ideas with us. Hey, Aaron, good to see you. Uh, tell us about your new project. So we have a young family and they've moved out to the country because they needed more space. And the space they moved into at first blush didn't look like a fixer upper, but you know, here we are. There are two principal bathrooms, a principal and a kid's bath to be done, a powder room and a kitchen. The house was last renovated about a decade ago, so it's looking really dated and it just doesn't fit the homeowner's style. So we wanted to do something that was a lot more fresher and contemporary, a bit mid-century as well. So I am up in the Seat showroom, which they've closed just for us, and I am shopping. I'm like a kid in a candy store, and I wanted to show you the palette that we're pulling together here. Well, first of all, you must be a big deal. They closed down the shop for Aaron Williams, so he could do a segment with us. We feel good about that. Talk to me a little bit about the innovative touches you have in store for this family, because lots of options behind you. I do. So really, the first thing is we're going to be nixing that French country look in that kitchen and going for something that's a lot more clean and contemporary. The major material we're looking at here for the kitchen is Neolith in Sintered Stone. This is the Calcutta Lux. I just love the veining in this. It will make it a real hero in the space. And it works so well with the other material we're using in the space, which is the uh, white oak for the cabinetry. But I'm going to tell you more about Neolith later on in the show. We're using two other different tiles in the kitchen as well, because you've got to mix it up. They are both matchstick tiles. We have a larger scale one, which is going to be going in the coffee bar area, and then a smaller one, which we're actually going to be wrapping around a range hood. Yes, you can tile a range hood. We did it recently on a project, and I loved the way it looked. And my new clients are up for the challenge, so we're going to give it a go. Okay, that is so cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that, so I cannot wait to see what that final look looks like. It must be nice to have clients that are just like, yeah, 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 go, do it, do it. We love it. Let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the principal bathroom. What have you got in store for that? So for the principal bath, we really wanted to mix it up, and I'm using one of my favorite materials on the floor, which is terrazzo. So this is a lovely look because it is both natural and patterned. We could have gone a plain for a plain tile here, but it just wouldn't have been as much fun. Okay, so terrazzo, we've talked about it before on City Line, but it has been around for eons. It is hot, hot, hot. Uh, once again, I don't even know if it's ever really gone out of style. What is it, and why do we love it? Well, we love it because these days it really picks up on that mid-century vibe, even Art Deco as well. The material and the process has actually been around for a really long time, 9,000 years BCE is the first time it was actually found this kind of use. So it's chips and chunks of stone, laid into a material and then sand it down and that's what gives you that great look but I just love it it's a total favorite it's, it's a gorgeous look and so I'm wondering is it going to be sprinkled uh, throughout the house in other spaces it really will be because we want that design through line and that's what helps to bring everything together when we when you're pulling together a palette like this the kids bathroom is up in the eaves we're using it on the floor in the kids bathroom in a slightly different colorway and we're using the same matchstick tiles on the walls in there too to play around with it and give it a cohesive look and then finally in the powder room that same terrazzo and a larger tile on the wall in the powder room and we're doing a brightly colored concrete sink in there just for fun but we're kind of still deciding what that color is going to be Oh, that's these are exciting problems to have. Figuring out how you're going to, you know, give an older house a brand new look is amazing. And we love to see those transformations here on City Line. So, Aaron, thank you so much for that.